Generation 1 Transformer Review, Autobot Pipes. Before we get into the review of the actual action figure itself, let's take a look at Pipes' tech spec. Function, Warrior, quote, one being's junk is another's art. Pipes is fascinated by seemingly worthless earthen gadgetry, such as carrot juicers, musical wristwatches, electrical hair combers, etc. He collects them in an unused corner of the Ark and is creating a mini-museum of American consumerism. Pipes travels at 100 miles per hour with a range of 400 miles and hauls up to 60 tons. Pipes' twin exhaust pipes emit corrosive gases that can dissolve a 2-inch thick steel slab in 10 minutes. Pipes is rated a 9 in strength, a 6 in intelligence, a 4 in speed, an 8 in endurance, a 5 in rank, an 8 in courage, a 5 in firepower, and a 4 in skill. This gives Pipes an overall rating of 6.1. Okay, now it's time for the official review on the Generation 1 Autobot Pipes. Before we get started with the character himself, let's see what you get when you purchase a Generation 1 Pipes. Well, I don't have his card back packaging, but I do have his tech spec. There's Pipes, the tech spec. On the back, you can see a little bit of the packaging. There he is in his truck, uh, big rig cab mode. It says transforms from robot to truck and back, Autobot Pipes. Okay, so we'll move this out of the way and bring Pipes out. He's a good looking car. He's blue, uh, Autobot symbol there on the top. Now, you might be asking me, before I get more into this, well, there's his rub symbol on the top, why I'm reviewing Pipes, since I'm strictly against reviewing any G1 Transformers that came out post-movie as an animated movie, and other ones that resulted because of deaths of robots. Well, Pipes actually was released, as far as the toy goes, prior to the movie. So I consider Pipes an okay robot to review, since you were able to buy this toy well before the G1 animated movie came out. So no need to post any questions about that in my comment section. So here he is. Let's bring it in for a close view. He doesn't have any weapons. As far as articulation goes, the arms do move up and down. This thing in the back can move. Legs move a little bit. He's kind of like Huffer. If you move down here, you see he's a nice blue and white color. I really like his color. Very nice Autobot symbol back there behind his head. From the side, he's all right. From the back, he's all right. Other side and from the front. He does have those cheap plastic tires that you would see on maybe uh, a Generation 1 Brawn, which I'm not a fan of those cheap plastic tires. All right, and as I said, he turns into a big rig cab, and it's pretty easy to form him, okay? To transform pipes, all you're gonna do is slide up his legs in the bottom. And be careful you don't break them off. There you go. Bring up the cab part, and that's it, and you have pipes, G1 pipes. Pretty simple, okay? As in most mini-bots, not hard to transform. He looks pretty good, actually, in uh, rig cab mode. You see a nice color Autobot rub symbol on the top of the cab. Then there's that other Autobot symbol that's on the back next to his pipe <laughs> on the right. How does he roll? as good as he could roll with those cheap plastic tires and being as light as he is so he does roll makes a lot of noise because of the ridges in those tires but all the tires do move and they move well okay so if we come in here we'll see pipes from the front in truck mode from the side and the chrome's nice and shiny still after all those years so he holds up well if taken care of from the back and from the other side and then we'll have pipes back to the front. He also has the detail on the top of the, the truck right there, which looks good. We want to see him from the top. There he is. All right. I hope you enjoyed my review of the Generation 1 Autobot pipes. Please stay tuned so you can see my pros and cons. 
And here are my final thoughts that I gave to the Generation 1 Autobot pipes. Okay, it's time for the final thoughts on the Generation 1 Pipes toy. As far as pros go, I'd like to say that Pipes' action figure does closely resemble his Generation 1 cartoon counterpart. They look pretty much identical. There are a few differences. However, anytime you have a toy that looks like it's cartoon character, it makes the toy a lot more fun to play with. And Pipes is one of those toys. I also like his colors. He, the, the blue really stands out nicely. And after all the years that this toy's been out, the blue still holds up well. Uh, it just makes the toy look better than if it would have been another color. I really, really like his color blue. Now, as far as cons go, I do want to say that Pipes' chrome-like pipes can quote-unquote tarnish. And what I mean is they do show wear. The silver becomes a little less silver. They can break a little bit if you're not careful. So you have to be extra cautious with his pipes because, um, like I said, they'll show their wear. Uh, I also don't like that Pipes has cheap plastic tires, and I say that often with some of these mini-bots. He doesn't have the even nice plastic tires or the rubber tires, which would be the best. So making him roll is not that fun because he has just those bulky, generic, cheap plastic tires. And my last con is that Pipes kind of reminds me of a poor man's Huffer. And I say this because Huffer came out before Pipes, and he's also a big rig cab, and he's also a mini bot. Um, I thought Huffer was a great replacement you know, cab, if Optimus Prime was down in battle. So why did you really need pipes? Maybe because, I don't know, did Huffer get killed off or something in the movie? Um, pipes did uh, first appear after the movie in The Five Faces of Darkness. However, I do review his character, as, because before I say this, you do know that I don't review characters that were a result of the Generation 1 movie because um, I just thought it was disgraceful what they did in the Generation 1 movie, even though it is one of the greatest animated movies of all time. I don't like to review anybody that's a result of that movie. However, I will review Pipes' character because his Minibot toy was released prior to the release of the movie. So you could have owned Pipes before that movie came out, so he's worth reviewing. But I don't like that he basically is a recolor of Huffer. There are differences, okay, so he's not an exact recolor re, uh, of Huffer, but basically he was meant to replace your Huffer, and I don't like that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed my review of the Generation 1 Autobot Pipes. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, or let your friends who, who are uh, Generation 1 Transformer fans, let them know about my uh, YouTube channel. Because anytime I get feedback from you guys, like subscriptions or friend requests or comments, makes me want to continue to work on this Generation 1 resource of reviews. And uh, I do it for you guys, so please keep in contact with me. Thank you.